So Dan and I met in the fall of our freshman year, it was 2011, and I was going to Rockland and as I was walking out I ran into Dan. Uh, we didn't know each other and um, he held the door for me and I thanked him and we both kept walking on our ways. What we didn't realize was we were walking to the same spot. We talked uh, all the way leading up to Rockland. That was what started it all. This proposal was nine months plus in the planning and I knew I had to start at Stevenson so I contacted um, some close faculty that I, I made very good relationships with and they were really supportive, really on board with it and more than willing to, to help out. I thought it was really symbolic and neat. She made the walk to the dorm where I was and that was the same walk that we made together the first day that we met. Standing in the lounge, I'm sure I looked nervous as anything <laughs> and the door was closed, I was facing the door, and she looked us through the window all of a sudden to make sure I'm in there. And the smile on her face was just, was awesome. It wasn't the place I imagined a proposal, but I knew that that was where we made a lot of memories, just being able to look behind him and see all of the scrapbook pages on the wall that had pictures of us, different memories, whether it was notes he wrote to me, notes I wrote to him. Just to see all of that made it really special. I figured it would be kind of neat too have a semi-public proposal where all of her friends and family could kind of be there and be uh, involved, but she doesn't necessarily know about it uh, until after the fact. And that was all because of Stevenson being able to be supportive of alumni and allow us to you know, graciously do that. Just to see all of that made it really special and I wouldn't have asked for a different place to be proposed.